welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we are making a supercharged plate, and that is the thunder plate. Chicken, brown rice, cherry tomatoes, sweet onions, orange pepper, tomato sauce, salt, olive oil, oregano, rosemary, thyme, half a lemon. These are the ingredients we're going to marinate the chicken. So we are going to use two cups of brown rice. It might be a little more than we need, but you always can save the rice in the refrigerator and use it for another meal. The first thing we do is you gotta wash the rice. Cold water. So we're gonna put the two cups of rice right in the pot. We're gonna use four cups of water. One. Two. Three. Four. Half a teaspoon of salt. We are going to use two tablespoons of olive oil. We are going to turn the fire to medium. Into medium and high. We're going to give it a stir. And we're going to let it boil. So what we're going to do with the onions, we're going to dice the onions, we're going to make it little pieces. These are little things that make the difference in the recipe, you know, by using sweet onions and not using the regular onions, it will make your food taste better. So all together, I think we're going to put one, two, three tablespoons of olive oil. So now we're going to put the onions. We want to saute the onions. We don't want the onions to taste like a raw onion. By the time the onions are cooking, then we're going to start cutting the pepper. Give it a nice wash. I like to take out the seeds. So we are using half of orange pepper. So we dice them nice and small. So we're gonna let it saute. This can cook maybe 10 minutes. The color from the peppers is giving a different look to the onions. They look really good, they have a nice color to it now. What we're gonna do, bring the fire down to low. Okay. So right now, what we're gonna do with the chicken, we're gonna slice the chicken in small pieces. This is like strips. So now we're gonna cut. Oh, the chicken looks great. All right, so we've got two chicken cutlets right there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna marinate them. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of salt. Not a lot of salt, very little salt. For the chicken, we're gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a pinch of, of thyme, because thyme is a little more strong than oregano. And a pinch of rosemary. Mix the lid to the chicken. All right, chicken is ready. Washing the cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna add it right to the... See, I like using cherry tomatoes because they're a little more sweeter. Two tablespoons more of olive oil right on the top. One, two, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it under the oven, okay? Good. So we're gonna let it bake for 30 minutes. 
So the rice is boiling right now. So we're gonna let it boil 10 minutes. And then we're gonna put a lid on it and we're gonna bring the fire down to low. So what are we doing right now? We have the fry pan here. Uh, we warming up the fry pan and we're gonna add the chicken to it. Wait a few minutes for the fry pan to get hot. Give it sizzling. This way we didn't have to use any extra oil. So the right now the fire is between medium and high. So right now the rice has been boiling for 10 minutes. We're gonna put the lid on it and bring the fire down to low and we're gonna let it cook for eight minutes. So we're just gonna turn the chicken. So red has been cooking for three minutes. I like the chicken to be nice and juicy so that way you will get all the flavors from the herbs. So right now it's been six minutes that the chicken has been cooking. So we're gonna shut down the chicken because we are gonna mix it together with the tomatoes, onions, and peppers, and tomato sauce, and we're gonna let it bake for another 20 minutes. So we don't want the chicken to overcook. Okay, so it's been eight minutes for the rice. So what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna shut off the fire, leave the lid on, in five minutes should be ready. The rice in five minutes should be ready. Okay, so we have the tomatoes baking for 30 minutes. They look beautiful. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna smash the tomatoes. Let's see, we're gonna get the juice. Oh, it looks great, it smells really good. You can do this with regular plum tomatoes. You just gotta dice them. You know, but I like the cherry tomatoes because they're more sweet. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the chicken to it, right on the top. And we're gonna add four tablespoons of tomato sauce. One, two, three, four. Now we're just gonna mix everything. And we're gonna let it bake for another 20 minutes. Now you know why you call it thunder plate, because the flavors, they're just unbelievable. You make this plate home, you are going to love it. So another 20 minutes. Look at this now. That is the thunder plate. Look how well everything just, it became one. So what do you do? You put some brown rice here. Depends how much rice you would like to have. I think that's a nice amount. Then we're gonna have, look at this, the chicken. All right, beautiful. You know, this is the thunder plate. Like I said before, it's one of the original supercharged plates, Arivas. When we first created this new menu for Eva's, there were three supercharged plates. One, it was the Thunder Plate. One, it was the Bob's Plate. And another one, it was the Champion Plate. So this is you going back maybe in the 80s or something. You know what I mean? And uh, wow, I'm glad I made it today. It brought me a lot of good memories. And the most amazing of all is uh, seeing it, you know, and uh, you know when you cook, yeah. you kind of taste the food without eating it. Oh yeah, of course. So, take a bite. You see when I take a bite, and you taste those tomatoes, and then you have uh, in the background the pepper, you don't even taste the onions, the onions that just disappear, but the flavor is there. It's great. Good food, good energy. Every day. Bam! <laughs>